Hi, my name is Yanis, and in this video I'll talk about bioprocess that can be used to produce adipic acid. First, let's talk about what is adipic acid. Adipic acid or hexane one 6 diuric acid is an organic compound which contains two carboxylic acid functional groups. It is in white crystalline form and it doesn't occur in nature. It is a mild skin irritant and is mildly toxic. Global adipic demand was 2.3 million tons in 2012 and is growing at 3 to 5 percent per year. About 85 adipic acid demand accounts for nylon 66 production, which is used for electrical insulators, pipes, profiles, and other various mechanical elements. Rest of demand accounts for polyurethane and adipic ester production. So, how do you produce adipic acid? Before I go any further and talk about biotechnology that will be used to produce this acid, let me explain what is the conventional way of producing it. Benzene that has been obtained from crude oil is hydrogenated to produce cyclohexane as a first intermediate. Cyclohexane is oxidized to produce Ka oil as a second intermediate. And then Ka oil is reacted with nitric acid to form adipic acid and nitric oxides as byproducts. So, why do we want to find a new way of producing this acid? Industrial adipic acid manufacturing relies on benzene and other benzene-derived chemicals that are obtained from fossil fuels. Benzene is also harmful for human health because of its carcinogenic properties. Nitric oxides or NOxes are produced as a byproduct, and as you may know, nitric oxide participate in ozone layer depletion. Please note that there is no actual industrial scale process of manufacturing bio-based adipic acid yet, but one company called Renovia has announced that they have developed a process how to produce it without using any fossil fuel source material. Adipic acid is produced from biomass, like corn syrup, where glucose is extracted. Glucose is oxidized to glucaric acid using a platinum-based catalyst. Please note, Chemocatalyst is used instead of biocatalyst to give high yields of adipic acid from starting product. Glucaric acid is the first and only intermediate in this process. It gets hydrogenated with the catalyst to produce bio-based adipic acid. This final step of the process is the most challenging for engineers because of selective removal of required oxygen. Oxygen can be removed using appropriate catalyst and a halogen. Catalyst used in this stage is unknown, because simply Renovia wants to keep it as a secret like rest of the process, so they are the first and only ones who develop industrial scale production. Therefore, there is no information about how exactly they will produce it or which catalyst or biocatalyst will be used. This catalyst could be transition metal from groups 3 to 12 in periodic table that is hydroxyl selective to increase yields of the product. This process can achieve up to 60% of glucose conversion to adipic acid. Other concepts have been made that can achieve only 22% glucose conversion in 48 hours. It uses three enzymes, but unfortunately I couldn't find any information about them as well. In summary, this bioprocess is expected to reduce capital costs by 25% due to less intermediate stages. Also, it doesn't produce any nitric oxides and doesn't use chemicals that are harmful for human health. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something new today.